at the moment I've been in contact with my GP and uh, she's filled in the access request form and then I didn't feel that was enough evidence and so then I've asked uh, for her to supply a supporting letter and, uh, and I've also done the same thing with my psychiatrist. I will also be um, providing my own supporting letter to give my story as well. And I'd, if you've got any reports or assessments or anything, and, you know, over the years, include them all. My supporting evidence was a uh, letter from my psychiatrist, mm -hmm. and she uh, she had a daughter with a disability, so she was really able to work with me to think how we might word things in that document to. Uh, get the most support that I could. But if it's not feeling like a conversation about your life, then listen to that. That's probably a good sign that it's, um, well, not a conversation about your life and let them know that you'd like to have a conversation about what's working and, and not working for you in your life. Mm. Yeah, take it back down to a real level. So we've got a carer statement and Mental Health Australia, and you can get this on their website, has a checklist for carers and I would recommend people fill that in. It's a really good and put in as much information and background as you can. Um, I think that's really important mm. so that they can assess and then they know what the carer, you know, what the carer does and the impact it has on the carer. And, and the family, not just, you know, the one, it's the whole family. So it's really important to let them have the big picture. Not all people with the NDIS, the workers at the NDIS, have experience in mental health. And I think until you really experience this yourself, you can't comprehend what, what your life is like caring for somebody. Um, the, the burdens that it places on you, what you have to give up um, from your own life, um, the isolation you can, you can suffer. Um, so I think it would it'd be very beneficial. Um, it's a good opportunity um, for you to express um, the impact it's having on your life. Mm -hmm.